Okay, we're live. So I'm looking at the screen here and just going to gravitate over here to <coughs> um, this tower of stuff. And I'm holding a video camera, which I've also started. Right? Okay, and I just want to point out that that's a, what is that, a 250X Sharp. Then we have a, um, then what do we have? We have a Lasonic LPC82, another favorite model. Then we have a Toyota EA900, okay? And then we have a Sharp GF77 that everybody keeps asking me about. It's not for sale. It's a, pro it's a project that I bought way back in 2014, okay? You can keep asking. I'm going to keep saying it's not for sale. Neither is a Toyota. These are both projects. When they're for sale, I'll let the world know. Have you heard me yet? Do you understand what I'm saying? Please? Thank you. Now, moving over to the bed. I put these out here for eye candy. That's all they are, is eye candy. Um, the radios work. Now this one here is a bit more of a... Well, anyway, it works. I haven't... It's kind of a long story involved there, but... Okay. And then I have, real quickly... There is an M50 lying down on the ground, all right? But I'm not here for those models. So we have, again, the Victor M90, a JVC M70, and a JVC M50, okay? But we're here for the, that one there that's about to fall over, <laughs> and this one here, and then lastly, that one there, okay? So without further ado, I'm gonna go and put these things, and then we've got the, uh, what is that? We've got a, what is that? That is a um, General Electric 3-6000B, as in black, okay? And then we have the, uh, what is that? The 5105, and then we have the NEC 12, RMS 1250, something or other. And then we have all this other stuff on the thing here. Somebody was poking around in one of the other forums there about I can't even remember what the Conic or something brand I can't remember what those are and then there's my 9696 and then there's the Hitachi next to it and then next to that is I can't remember Quasar Panasonic whatever and then there's more of those and then up here is you know just more stuff okay and oh and then here's my silver my silver, uh, whatchamacallit, um, anyway, the cassette player doesn't work. There's my Sanyo that I bought for myself before it got into boom boxes, and I still have it in the box. Double cassette, CD player, remote control. And I have these two, which are almost new in the box, okay? And then we have just, you know, my buckets of Walkmans, okay? Two more buckets of Walkmans down there. And there's uh, some more boom boxes, some cassettes. There's a TAC on the bottom there. And I think I have a, uh, over there is a Tascam and a couple of DBX units. For those of you that know what DBX are. Here's a Sony CFS7 new in the box. All right. I mean, that's another long story. Why in the heck did I buy that thing? Alright, so what else? And then we've got this a couple of FF2s. This one here, the speakers have gone bad since I bound it, so they just need new speakers. Probably the belts were belted. There's a Sanyo, I mean a Sanyo, a Fisher PH460. And then holding the shelf up here is a 410 and another 410. Alright, so, alright, great. And then we're not going to go in the closet, so we're going to put this up here. Pardon me, I can only hold so many things at one time, so that's why the YouTube camera is going everywhere. What happened here? No! What happened to my... Oh, did I lose my screen? Wait. I spoke. Okay. No. Broadcast paused. Okay. And we resumed. Yay! Okay. We're still live. we got one person on there. Alright, so now I'm going to put this on the tripod here. Okay, so much for the dance around the room. Okay, are we still, still recording? Yay, okay, so, 
let me go back to the cell phone thing. I'm still live. Trying to get it back into the clamp on the tripod here. Clamping it in. And there's a thumbs up from somebody. Okay, great. So, see, so now it's on a nice tripod. I can swivel it like this and just go back over there to my where I started. And so now I'm going to sit down right about here, park it right about there. Okay. This is a, you know, once again, this is a can't see me in that camera, but then I can't look. There's that, there's that, there's that. So, <clears throat> so the whole idea of this video is simply to play. Okay, all right. This is a the whole key point here is this monstrosity, which is a Panasonic RX50. Wait, 5350. This thing takes 10 D batteries, and it's very loud. All right, and it has a five band equalizer right here. This is a Panasonic RX 5050, and it takes eight D batteries and is not as loud as that. Plus this, because it's a higher, well, just more expensive everything, this also has a better tape deck and it sounds better because it has more power, okay? And this is, you know, eight D batteries, uh, a little bit less power, and then, See here. Well, let's see if it'll stand up by itself. Okay. And then we have this thing. <clears throat> this is a Panasonic RX C38. Okay. And this has speakers that come off by you know you just uh, you just push this over like this, raise up, and come on now. And you take the speakers off. And you can put them out wherever you want. Now people don't like three-piece boxes because supposedly. If you wang them, if you you know bang the end of it's real good, you break these connectors off. But this is, you know, you have to slide this thing on here just so, right? Come on now, got to line it up just right. Well, there we go. And now it's locked in place. It's not going anywhere because it's locked here. So it's, it's you know, I could almost there we go. Anyway, it's not going anywhere, right? So it's it's on there. Unless you are really rambunctious with your boxes, I don't know why people don't like three-piece models because the thing is with these two models here, the speakers, the left channel speaker colors the right channel speaker and the right channel speaker colors the left channel speaker. You understand what I'm saying? You know, the bass note rever reverberates back into the cabinetry and, and comes out the other speaker while the other speaker is making sound out of that speaker back into this speaker, right? How many, you know, home stereo units have both channels in one speaker? That's what this is. That's what this is. That's what all your boom boxes are. But this, your know, three-piece models where the speaker is separate, it doesn't, the sound doesn't color anywhere. It doesn't go anywhere. It might be ported, ported in the back, but it's not going to go into the other channel because it can't. Alright, so you're going to actually hear the left and right channel. Now, this one is special because this one, not only does it have left and right speakers and also little piezo tweeters, but this also has extra bass, which are these two little um, two inch by, say, four inch speakers. Okay, So these speakers can be actually turned off by this little red button. It has its own uh, uh, volume knob, if you will, uh, and then it has a 5-band equalizer, a dual volume, this has line-in radio, auto-reverse, has line-in, did I mention that? So you can take your happy little CD player and plug it in. And this one does work, alright? I'm going to let you listen to it here in just a second. I'm going to take my happy little CD player here, which uh, I'm going to plug it into this, right there, and here, okay? Now I'm going to take this thing here. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because I have a potential buyer for this. But I just wanted to show you what this little thing sounds like. And I'll play that briefly as well. Okay, so here we go. See, what do I need? This one doesn't have any batteries in it. I brought batteries out here. So I need to sit like this. Okay, pull this around in front of me. Okay. 
and then get my power cord, which is underneath that radio, which is plugged into this thing, which I was using to check the working of it. All right, so where do you plug this in? Okay, it goes in here. All right, so here's the cord. And there's no batteries in this thing. Where let's just hit play. All right, all right, hit play. Nothing. Okay, so we hit play. We plug it in. All right. We got tunes. So. Well, I can't. I'll just operate it looking at it this way. All right. So. Uh, yeah. Okay. I need to. Well, I'm good with that. All right. So. So. Fast forward that. Hit play. Actually turned on up here. Let's do it like this. Um, actually do give it a by 2030. So folks, let's yeah. Spring water. It's here. Come get rowdy at the river this Thursday as the Frisco Rough Riders take on the Amarillo Solid Poodles at... music on YouTube so there's no issues. That's why I'm playing it. Anyway, so... Com. Let my family fire for yours. Call 214. And then, of course, back to the tape player. All right, so hit play. Where's play? And it's got auto reverse, so I 
connect that to the next song. So, anyway, having too much fun with this. All right, so let me take that there, put this here, put that there. Okay, let me unplug it. Okay, and yeah, so if you wanted to put batteries in, the batteries go in here, right? This battery compartment is clean and rustry and all that. Okay, so and because it's only nine volts and everything, it's not as loud as everything else in the whole world. But then again, you know, if you play it with the extra bass, it'll suck down your batteries. But this won't. Uh, what I'm trying to say here is this will last a lot longer. Uh, because it's more efficient uh, with your battery power than something that takes 8D batteries. 8D batteries will give you, you know, approximately the same sound, but it'll suck down your batteries a lot faster. So this is be actually the better model to get, I would get, okay, now that I've had these. But, you know, again, people are so worried about losing the, you know, I'm holding it by the speaker, it's supposed to fall off, right? Well, they're not falling off unless you release some people, you know, so here. You release it by pressing this button back here and then pulling it up, but it comes down, locks in place, it's not going anywhere, you know? So, I've got a lot of three-piece models. I've got a lot of them here and here. Not, maybe not in here, but in, well, okay. Like here's a three-piece model. Uh, really, a lot of the other three-piece models. There, there's a three-piece, there's a Sharp GF800. This is a, uh, what the heck is this? This is a Fisher. SC300. I don't even think. Well, because I'm on. Well, okay. Let me just get that out and show it to you briefly. All right? Because I, I set that on there, and this has got a cloth covering because this has got a. Oh yeah. For whenever I get. Whatever I get. Whatever. Uh, let's see here. Power cord. Wait a power cord. Here's a power cord. So. This is a very nice model. Um, let's see here. What do I do with my tape? Here's my tape. So, yeah. Um, inject. Alright, so it's like that, right? So, it's, okay, so here we go. Let's eject, right? And you drop this in, put it on that side, hit that. Come up here and you hit play. And we got search for things. I had a black one a long time ago and I sold it to the doctor in California and then I realized I really liked it and I found this. Wait, I'm not putting this in here. I'm putting this back on the shelf. Okay, so this one here works fully because I rebuilt it because I rebuilt it the other one. Right, so. Okay. And what else is up here on the shelf that I... Oh, well, I do have one of these. Well, hell, I forgot it. Here, I'm looking for one, and I 
sorry. Totally forgot I even had with this model. Okay, I've been looking online for one of these. Okay, well here's another Panasonic. Okay, this is a Panasonic RX uh, 4975, all right? And this one has a four band, yeah, I'm glad I, glad I pulled all this stuff off the shelf here. All right, so this one, let's see here. Power off tape, hit play, play. Oh, you gotta put a tape in it, it helps. Okay, so stop, eject, great, there we go. Put your tape in, yay. Play. Rewind. Well, here, I'll let you see it. Okay, I'm rewinding the Z tape. Alright, so. Stop. Play. Rewind a bit more. You put it on radio. Radio is here. works really well. The only thing that is bad about this model is other than, well, the only thing that's bad about this model that nobody wants is that you cannot uh, plug your phones into it because it does not have line in. It only has, you know, it just has what? Headphone jack and what is this? Microphone jack. You know, so you can record with it in stereo, but it doesn't even have, you know, there's no line in, just that. This, but it does take only 60 batteries, so it's very lightweight to carry. I don't know how much this thing weighs, but it's a very lightweight. So if you just want to play your, you know, your tunes, you can do this. It's a little bit heavier than a Walkman, but it'll give you some, you know, decent tunes you can listen to without wearing out your arm muscles. You know, you could do curls with these, but, you know, so... So this is a great personal radio, but the thing that the best part about this, it has its own happy little equalizer. So when you find these are going for a hundred dollars or more in this condition, uh, I sell mine for more, a little bit anyway. Uh, but there's that model, right? So I'm so glad I now I don't have to be looking for this. So now I've got this in this happy little video. Yay! All right, and so the next one up here is a Quasar, but we're not going to go there and the. That one next to that is another Quasar, and then the Hitachi, the Sharp, and I got more Quasar and Panasonic up here. But okay, this camera has been bugging me 
the one for YouTube. How much time have I used up on here? 25 minutes. Oh my gosh. Let me move the thing over just a tad. Okay. So I played this one. All right. So I played the. Okay. So I played this one here. But this one is a. a this is a nine volter. Okay. And this one here is also a nine volter. Okay. So a little bit. You know. Anyway. But this one doesn't have. This just has an equalizer. This has an equalizer line in and equalizer line in the extra bass speakers and all that. All right, great. Okay, and then then what? So I want to play. Yeah. So I've already. Let's see here. So I'm just running out of room of stuff. Give me my tapes. Right, so here's so that. Put that there. Here it is. Oh, that's what it was. This goes back on covering the keyboard to keep the keep the dust off the keyboard. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so now it's back up there. Alright, so now I said I was going to play the 5050. So let's play the 5050. The 5050 has batteries in it, as I forgot. And um, so let's just turn it on, right? So hit radio. So there's the radio. Give it some volume. Right. <laughs> I had no idea, honey, but she said if I could still wear the dress, I wouldn't even be selling it now. Now, here's the question. Does it still fit? There's that. Here's mine. You know, actually, I was asked that Take question earlier again. today. The dress is too big for me now. Well, I can promise you Put that there, really you wouldn't be the case with those bell bottoms. Like that. thing off. All right, now it's in off position. All right, and then well, let's have a little station identification thing and, and uh, pull up this. Uh, what is this? Here's a national. All right, so a national. Does this thing have batteries on? I can't remember anymore. Yeah, it does. Okay, so we got batteries in this. All right, so this is a national RX 5105, which Anyway, um, okay, so what am I doing? I'm hitting eject, I'm taking the tape, putting the tape in, right, and hitting play. So there's, I recorded over this tape a few times. I have it on the wrong side, but that's all right. Supposedly has tape program search where it'll zip back to the beginning of the first song. It was just play it, played and stop and play again. 
There it goes. You've already heard this enough, right? Now I want to get out this thing here before I get to the Panasonic because I got this thing off the shelf and it's been on the shelf and forgotten about and I have a bunch of radios that have been forgotten about but this here is a, uh, now this one does have an issue with playing but I'm going to play it anyway, alright. This one takes, this is a General Electric 3-6000B, okay, put power in, alright. I have to come around to the front because I can't remember everything. Right, let me just do it flat. How about so? It's on tape off, auxiliary, radio. So, it was quite delicious. It was quite delicious. And what is it? Now, the interesting thing about this. The interesting thing about this. It's a nice bread. This is the. Uh, and then there is uh, some tomatoes. This is the on. FM right. dial. Yeah. This is and the AM some dial. Other, uh, basil. Well, well, you flip it from AM okay. to FM. Okay. There, there, there was some oil. There was some oil. There was some oil. This one goes off. We got one lights up. So here we go. We nailed it. It was good. The other bread was even better, though. Whatever. I don't like See the that? methods, okay? So this one light, but I'll I like do the it again. Results. See that lit up, this went out. Because of that band. went out, this yeah, lit up. You were telling me to go a different way. Yeah. So that's how that goes. And you can tune it even more. Right, so. Once again, back to, and it's got a stereo light. So I sat here and tuned the stereo and got a There we go, there's stereo for a second or two, it's really holding it, okay, gotta go, alright, but I didn't come here for that, I came here to play the tape in this model, alright, so put it back on tape, hit the eject, oh, well that's right, I finally found my John Cougar Mellon Camp tape, I lost this tape like a very long time ago, I don't remember how long it was that I played this, but here it is, I finally found it, Day who, okay, so, now I'm going to play the demonstration tape thing in here. Okay, yeah, I've got it in the correct way. There, hit play. Play. Now this one plays low in this channel, but it does have sound. So I'm going to crank it all the way over, right? Which one's balance? That's balance. Okay, give us some volume. This has bass, treble, balance, and volume. All right, so it's full blast. So that's all the way off, like it should be on this channel. I'm sorry, that's I get me. That's the volume. This is the balance. So there is a balance in this, but it's not as loud. So that's full volume. See, so that's low on this channel. just on the tape, right? We put it on the radio, right? It's very loud, okay? So, the make it, anyway, this, that's, I just wanted to show you that. That works like that. Um, this does have, where are the auxiliary jacks on this thing? Um, okay. Oh, they're on this side here. All right, so, let me take my, this and briefly plug this in just there and here, right? And flip it over to auxiliary. Okay, so, stop on that and then give us some volume, right? So, volume. So, the light end does work. get very loud but I'm not here about this model because I still got to get to the other darn thing get my tape out of here before I forget it lose it for another couple years okay I got that there we unplugged it unplug it from here this thing takes 10 D batteries I thought it only took eight but I was mistaken it takes 10 all right so you know haven't had batteries in forever go. 
All right, and uh, the line-in stuff is right here, along with whatever else. Okay, fine. Okay, so now, did that, did that, did that, that. We're not playing that. We played the 50-50. Here's the power fit. Okay, so there's that thing there. So let's get the this massive machine here, which I bought. I had one of these, oh, I don't know, a whole long time ago, and I bought one here recently and discovered again that I... <laughs> this thing is nice. It's pretty and everything like that, but I just don't like it. You know, it's just... I thought I'd like it again, but I don't. This is line in. Okay, so hit red for that, this for that. I need a power plug because this one don't have batteries in it. This takes 10D batteries, all right? So, it's loud. So now, let's see, go back to my cassette, where is that at? So, okay, so I was playing the CD line in thing, so, where is, uh, oh my gosh, just so many buttons on here, there we go, okay, um, that, 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 so now, Go back to this line in. That's the radio, right? So it's true. Very good, then. Entonces, estamos charlando como una hora. Él se mostró muy interesado, aunque un tanto escéptico. ¿Cómo podía saber alguien? And this is tape, so we hit play. Where's play? Play is a triangle. So we hit. Well, that's supposed to work, but anyway. Bouncing along right here. Anyway, uh, I want to know what can I tell you about this, right? So just it works. Serena me dice desde. tape out of here, which is stop. I want to stop, that's eject. Okay, so that's been my long-winded hope that YouTube thing hadn't gone. It was it 25 minutes last time I did it? I looked at it. Turn the CD player off. Turn the CD player power off. Great. Okay, so come on now. There we go. So that's off, that's off. This is here. Okay, we've been live in Facebook two days in a row. 
Now this goes back on the corner up on the shelf here. All right, so just set that there. Put this here. Okay, great. So yeah, I'm not playing the M90, the M70, or the other thing, but only so much time in a day, right? So anyway, live. Elderfog, Royce Matthews, Muhammad at Floppy. Wait, Muhammad at I can't even see that. It's in the anyway, So I'm going to say good, good day, good night, goodbye. Right. Time to go charge the phone. Alright, so, yeah, so. How many people? we got a bunch of people in here watching. Sergio, that guy, that guy. See you back, peoples. Good day, bye. I'm gonna put this on, well, Facebook. Okay, gotta go. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Well, you know what? I'm still here digging all this, and I forgot to turn this thing off. It's been 41 minutes. Thanks for watching. I'm, you know, doing the. Uh, Anyways, there's a copy of this on Facebook for those of you on Facebook. Alright, thanks for watching. Good day. Bye-bye.